بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله continue on in our study of قواعد علمية في رد المبتدعة some of the uh, knowledge based principles for refuting an innovator and we mentioned that these قواعد are taken from uh, Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah's books especially Minhaj Al Sunnah with regards to how or why and some general principles with regards to refuting people who have deviated in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Shaykh mentioned the first uh, principle being al hadr min al ahwa, that uh, warning against desires, that this is from the usul of Ahl Sunnah, is that they warn against bid'ah, they warn against following desires. And he mentions. The author mentions the statement of Shaykh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah where he says, Wal wajib ala kulli Muslim yashhadu in la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and yukun asla qasdahu tawheedillah bi ibadatihi wahtahu la sharika la wa ta'ati rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yudur ala thalik wa yattabuhu ayna wajiduhu ويعلم أن الأفضل الخلق بعد الأنبياء هم الصحابة فلا ينتصر لشخص انتصارا مطلقا عاما إلا لرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. This is very very important because this right here is refuting the أصول of حزبية, the أصل of حزبية, which is to adhere and blindly follow a personality, a scholar, a group of scholars. These three scholars, whatever they say, that this is the حق لا. This maktaba, whatever they say, is the haq la. This website, whatever they say, this forum, this Sufi sheikh, this uh, whatever, that whatever they say is the haq la. Listen to what Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said. He said, it's an obligation upon every Muslim that's, that testifies that there is no God worthy of worship except the law, and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that they, that their usul, their foundation, is that they have the intention, you know, ikhlas in tawheed, uh, you know, in, in, in worshiping Allah alone without any partners, without associating in partners with Him. This is the assass of the religion of Islam. And that everything we do, even re refuting a, a mubtadiya, is, is based on sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sincerity to His religion, protecting and preserving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion so that the people don't innovate regarding the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, and obedience to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is uh, built upon that. You know, it's all about worshiping Allah. And following him, meaning the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wherever, what, with whatever he left, you know, following the son of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in, complete, in totality. And knowing that the best of creation after the prophets alayhim after salatu salam is the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in so do not uh, blindly or absolutely follow any personality in general except the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meaning that we don't blind follow anyone I can't say Sheikh Rabi said this I'm gonna blind follow Sheikh Fozan said this I'm gonna blind follow Sheikh so and so said this Muk Imam Mukbil said this Khalas intahayna that's the end of the story La. we look to the muafaka of even our Imams that we love to how their statements and actions are in accordance with the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that's the scale not the Sheikh's uh, speech and I this is so important because this is the asal of Hizbiya. You cannot criticize the Sufis for saying uh, Jifri or whoever or, or some Sufi from the past or, or those who say we follow because we have a book and it's about it's what Abdul Qadir Jalani says and we follow this blindly and we worship based upon that. How can you condemn them but then at the same time you're doing that with Salafi Mashaykh. I don't say Sheikh Suleiman Raheli said this. This is the end of all ends. Whatever he says is the haq la. I look to what that imam, say, what that sheikh says, half of Allah Ta'ala, and I put it on the scale of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you don't have ilm, you're not going to be able to do that. If you don't have any tools to be able to do that, which comes from ilm al-nafiyah, 
then you, you're not going to be able to do that. You're always going to be in a position where you just have to blind follow. And you're even in a worse situation if you are blind following and just relying on translators. Meaning I go to website so-and-so, they said make uh, call so-and-so an innovator. This must be the truth because the truth is always with them. I've heard people say this about certain websites. This is a crime and this is Hezbiya Khalis. This is pure Hezbiya. And sometimes it can go to cultism and lead to other, and, it's, and in fact, it can even go to shirk if people go to that extent. So you have to be very cautious about these issues of blind following and not knowing your Islam. You have to gain ilm and nafiyah, because this is a sifat of Ahl Hawa, of the people of desires, is that they blindly follow and they believe the truth is with other than the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Then Shaykh al-Islam says, وَلَا لِطَائِفَةَ الْإِنْتِصَارِ مُطْلَقٍ عَامٍ إِلَّا لِسَحَابَةَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى مِجْمَعِينَ And he said, and there is no group that we follow in, uh, in, 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 in absolute obedience, in absolute terms, except the Sahaba رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى مِجْمَعِينَ Because they're the asl of the jama'ah. They're the origin of Ahl sunnah They're the ru'us of the salaf. They're the leaders of the salaf. رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى مِجْمَعِينَ so we only follow, and even with that statement, if you look at what Shaykh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said, he said, Illa lis sahaba. He's talking about all of the Sahaba, or he's talking about what the Sahaba were united upon, those things in Aqidah and stuff like this. But we don't say um, we have an ather of uh, Ibn Abbas or, uh, or um, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu when he made wudu up to his almost his shoulders. Do we say we follow that? Because Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu Ejma'in did it and he did it kind of privately so the people couldn't see him because he wanted to follow the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where the Prophet وسلم, said uh, uh, about making the wudu that you should make the full wudu and whoever wants to advance or, or extend his, his light for the day of judgment then he should you know make, make it more or more, more extensive more perfect Abu Huraira anhu, had an understanding of that that you know so he used to make a wudu almost up to his shoulders you know up to here sometimes and it wasn't probably his regular practice but it was something because he was trying to follow that hadith that was from his ijtihad we can't follow him in that ijtihad because that was that was not incorrect he gets a reward for that he gets a reward because he was with the Prophet وسلم, and he was making ijtihad not based on desires but we can't follow him in his ijtihad and say that's the sabil al salaf. So it's very important that we understand we don't take an individual call of anyone unless, uh, except that it is in accordance with the Prophet sallallahu And we don't follow anyone, uh, make mutaba ila anyone, ila a personality or a group or a sect except to the Prophet sallallahu and what the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala ijma'in had ijma'an. They were, uh, had consensus upon so it's very important to understand this because that yadad uh, hezbiyah, this goes against the uh, usul of ahla ahwa, the people of desires and the people of hezbiyah. Then Shaykh al uh, said, radiallahu ta'ala, that guidance, it is with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's where we get guidance. Wherever he, he, whatever he did, that is from guidance. So that's the usul of Ahl Sunnah. Whereas Ahl Bid'ah, they take their desires as the foundation, their opinions, their views. Oh, we don't think we should affirm Sifat of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala because we think there's some tashbih or we think this, we think this, we think, we think, we think. They're using their intellect. They're building their intellect and that intellect is going against the Nas. The Nas says, Al-Rahman ala ar The most merciful rose above his throne. They're saying, well, we think if we make if we say Ar-Rahman rose above his throne and we don't change the meaning, then we think that there's a resemblance between Allah and his creation. No, don't think that. Don't have this su suavun, this, this wicked, uh, pessimistic, evil thought. But rather go with the nas wherever it takes you. Because that's what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said and did and, and taught us sallallahu alayhi wasallam that's how the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala in the salaf al-salih ridwan allahi alayhim how they practice what they understood what they left for us what the sabila mu'mineen is we go where the text tells us we don't make inferences and just speculate until we speculate out of the fold of islam wallahu mista'an listen to this also the statement of shaykh al-islam ibn taymiyyah 
Rahimahullah Ta'ala, where he mentions that talking about the people of desires, he said, Wasahib Ahoa Ya'mihi al Hawa Wuyasumhu Fala Yastahdir Malillahi wa Rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi dhalika wa la yatlubu. So here he's talking about the people of desires. And by the way, it's illegal to shoot out here, so we just have to be careful that we're not a target. Wallah musta'an. The people of desires, that they, they are blinded by their desires. And they are uh, deafened by their desires. And they don't use as a scale what Allah wa Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uses as a scale. And they don't make al-wala wal bara based on what Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. But rather, they use as a scale their desires. So this is very important to distinguish between Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bid'ah. And this important reason of why we, uh, why we uh, don't follow our desires and follow the Sabil of Ahl Bid'ah. It's very, very important that we understand this and we avoid that and we avoid taking our desires as a deen and making a resemblance and bake, based upon our desires, you know, uh, what I feel, making that where we make uh, al-wala and bara based upon that. If you don't follow this principle, which is not based in the book and the sunnah, then I'm going to make hajr of you. If you don't make tibdi of so-and-so because Sheikh so-and-so said, I'm going to make hajr of you. But in fact, that's an issue of ijtihad. So we should not be making love and hate based upon those types of masail. And Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is giving this, giving us this foundation from his, his statements uh, uh, in, in regards to that. And then he says, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, says فإن أكثرهم من أهل بدع قد صار لهم في ذلك هوا أن ينتصر جاههم أو رياستهم وما نسب إليهم لا يقصدون أن تكون كلمة الله هي العليا وأن يكون الدين كله لله بل يغضبون على ما خالفهم وأن كان وإن كان مجتاهدا معذورا لا يغضب لا يغضب الله عليه وَيَرْضُونَ عَمَّا يُوَافَقُهُمْ وَإِنْ كَانَ جَهْلًا سَيِّ الْقَصْدِ Subhanallah If you understood this statement and I, and it's, uh, I hate having to even translate it but for those who know Arabic that is a high powered statement which refutes even our brothers and sisters who claim Salafi and claim to be from Ahl Sunnah but they blindly follow individuals and they take their views as if it's the religion this is Hizbiyah, Ayn al Hizbiyah. This is specifically, this is exactly Hizbiyah. That if I say Sheikh Ibrahim Rahali has this issue in Ijtihad, or he said this about Sheikh so and so or individual so and so, you need to take that opinion or we're going to cut you off. This is Hizbiyah. This is following the Hawa. This is not following Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Or rather, I can say Sheikh Ibrahim refuted him and I believe the Haq is with him. But I mean making you take his position? No. Sheikh Rabi said, Khalas, this is like wahi to some people. No, that's incorrect. We love the Sheikh. We love where he makes, where he has correct, and we don't follow him in that which he makes a mistake in. And the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, I didn't say it, Muhammad ibn Abdullah said, Kullu. This means there's no exception. All the children of Adam, they sin or make mistakes. And the best of those who sin or mistake are those who repent. That means all of our mashayikh, they yusibu yukhti. Imam Malik said about this. He said, Kullu yusibu yukhti illa sahiba had the qabr. Okay, maqal. Imam Malik said, Rahimullah ta'ala. This is Imam Malik, Imam al darul hijra He said, everyone makes a mistake. He was teaching in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's masjid. He said, illa sahiba had the qabr. He said, except the one in that grave. Meaning we all make mistakes in ijtihad. We all make mistakes. All of us can fall into bid'ah even in, in an issue. And we may need to correct ourselves. How many mashayikh, and we respect those mashayikh. I'm talking about mashayikh that you and I love. I know certain ones who have made so many mistakes 
and alhamdulillah they've made uh, taraja on those mistakes they, they have a list there's a list of mistakes of one of the mashayikh and I'm not going to mention his name who's a well known Salafim sheikh who many of the people raise up to be he's alam so and so and he is he is an alam a sunnah but don't take him above his level he's not on the level of Fozan he's not on the level of some of his who preceded him but he's an alam he is in his knowledge and he's a uh, imam, imam of the sunnah in this time we love him but he has a list that just came out of so many mistakes he made in some of his tapes and made takfir and tabdi' of individuals and said this and said and he makes taraja and so I respect him for that and it lets us know that no one is free from mistakes and that's what you have to get that in your head that's why you don't say the haq is with so-and-so the haq is with website so-and-so the haq is with forum so-and-so that we say the haq is with Allah, Allah wa Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and where this website is in agreement with that we like that and where forum such and such is in agreement with that we take that even if it's from Ahl bidah if it is the truth it's the truth you can't deny the truth your your religion is based on the haq whatever is in accordance with the haq we take it whatever is against the haq we reject it best and tahina it's it's simple uh i think i translated this but let's just quickly so, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he said, So most of the people, meaning Ahl bidah they follow their desires. And they assist, you know, and they have this love and, and hate, and they assist their uh, position, their status, and their leadership, you know, trying to hold on to leadership. And those things which, you know, they're making efforts to achieve, which are things of the dunya. And they do not intend to assist the word of Allah, raise up the word of Allah. So if you're holding on to a position, whether that be a position, uh, a physical position, you're the Imam of the Masjid or this and this, and you're making all these mistakes based on Hezbiyah, and you're gonna hold these position of Hezbiyah instead of looking to what is in accordance with the Kitab and Sunnah, then this is a major mistake. And this you're following into what Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said. Instead, rather he said, instead of them adhering to raising up the word of Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa And that's what, what we're ordered to do. And instead they, they intend, they don't intend to raise up the word of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, so it's the most high, and that the religion is for Allah rather they are become uh they are angry with those who disagree with them subhanallah listen to this ahabatullah listen to this these are quiet hezbiyah but how many people do we know who say they're salafi who say they're from ahl sunnah they say oh we you better take what these four du'at say as the truth and or else we're going to make hajr of you you know, so they become angry about what is their wala wal bara? It's about Mektaba Salafiya. Their wala wal bara is based on such and such website. Their wala wal bara is based on Troy. Their wala wal bara is based on Ulum. Their al wala wal bara is based on Medina.com. Their al wala wal bara is based on Salafi uh, Menhaj or whatever. One of these websites or forums. My point is, is not to diss those forums or speak ill of those forums, but it's to let you know as youth, fear Allah that those forums are good in as far as they go with the haq. Not everything that's on there is truthful. Not everything, there's no nothing free from mistakes. And some of them have more mistakes than others. Some of them fall into more errors than others. So that's what you have to be careful of. And you don't get that, you won't be able to distinguish the haq and batal except by, uh, uh, except by uh, uh, knowledge. And then he said, Rahimullah Ta'ala, so they become, rather they become angry with those who differ with him. Oh, you differ with me about Hujuri? You differ with me about uh, Muhammad Munir? You differ with me about Shadid Muhammad? You differ with me about Fahir Wyatt? You differ with me about so-and-so? I'm going to make hajar from you. I'm going to make takfir of you. I'm not going to give you salams. This is the reality of what people are doing, which is a khapa, a big mistake. And then he said, in kana mujtahidin ma'dhurin. Subhanallah. So the people, they make awwala wal bara, these people of the past, these people of ahla ahwa, they made their awwala wal bara, even though the imam they were hating on 
was a mujtahid who was excused, excused for their, their maybe their mistake in an issue of ijtihad. It wasn't an issue of the usul of the religion, but an issue, maybe an issue in fiqh. He believes in moving his fingers and this one says, no, keep your finger out. This one says, okay, these are its issues. There is nasus, but they're issues of ijtihad. So you don't make a strong inkar on someone and say, Akhi, you're a mubtadi. If you do that one more time in our masjid, we're not going to pray behind you. We're going to kick you out of the masjid. And la, we don't make a, a tabdi and, and, and love and hate based on those issues. So I hope that, uh, inshallah ta'ala, clear. So then Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he says, and they don't become angry for what angers Allah, and they're not happy, uh, and they're only happy except with that which agrees with them. Okay, you agree with our website? You're down with us, bro. Go ahead and tw tweet uh, and cause fitna around the earth because we're giving you a pass just because you agree with us on this issue. Oh, you make a tibdi of Sheikh Ali Hassan al Halabi? Okay, we love you and uh, you're a good Salafi. La, that's not, that's not what the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and what Minhaj al Salaf is about. That's not what it's about. Wallahu Musta'an. And it's not about making love and hate about individuals and issues. This is what is imperative and I don't understand how so many Salafis and people who have studied in Salafi institutions, whether it be Jamiat or whether they come out of Damaj or whether they come out of the Marrakesh of Sunnah in various places, why and how they adopted these Kawai. We know so many people who make these principles that really, when I was in Yemen the last time and this came out of, it came out of Damaj unfortunately, and I don't know who was responsible, but they had a Hizbi list. Literally, they had a list. And it was all these people in Sana'a that you should no longer sit with because of one individual. Because they believe Sheikh uh, Abdurrahman Adani Rahmatullahi Rahmatul Wasiya was a Mubtidia. And if you had any association with him or his Marcus or praised him or didn't come out with a position that agreed with theirs, they made Hajar of you and they put you on a Hizbi list. That is the most strangest thing. I thought it was like a cartoon. Me and a, another American, we used to joke about this. He said, oh, you better be careful. You're going to get on that Hizbo list. He called it the Hizbo list. And, and as comical as what he said is comical, the sad reality is there was a real list with really a whole list of names from people around the earth. So-and-so Indonesia, so-and-so Somali, so-and-so uh, Ethiopia, so-and-so Amriki, so-and-so Kennedy, so-and-so from such and such country. Do not sit with them because they have a position with Sheikh Abdurrahman. One issue, an issue of ijtihad that they felt tibdi of him and they don't, and you have to agree with him. So the habit of Allah, the important thing is that we understand that al wala wal bara is in accordance with the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi not based upon our desires, not based upon our hawa, not based upon who we love and who we hate, but rather it has to go back to the Book of Allah and uh, That if you uh, divide, فإن تنزعتم في شيء فردوه إلى الله ورسوله إن كنتم تؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر ذلك خير لكم وأحسن تأويلا. Allah subhanahu wa taala says in Kitab al Karim that if you differ over something, then return it to Allah and His Messenger. إن كنتم تؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر. If you believe in Allah in the Day of Judgment, this is better for you and. You know, this is this is going to be your resolution. This is how you resolve these things. But the Hizbis say, La, they go against this. Instead of returning it to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and making excuses or looking uh, when these issues are issues of ijtihad, they make awwala wal bara. No, Akhi, we made a refutation. We use some ayats. We use some hadith. So-and-so is a mubtadi'ah. You better take the position or we're going to hate you based upon that. And because so-and-so agrees with us, we love him for that. That's al-wala wal-bara, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.